Hey, what's up guys? Back with another video. Um, this is going to be a little vlog today. About to go to the junkyard. It's fucking windy as shit out today. About to go to the junkyard today and uh, look at a, an E30 they got there. Um, to see what I can get off of it for parts wise. It's supposed to have an LSD and everything. So hopefully it has that shit on it. And um, I should be able to get it this week sometime. Today I'm just going to go there and look at it. I'm not really going to try to get anything right now. I just want to look at all the parts that I can get and make a list and figure out how much money it's going to be or whatever. Um, just going to take the Lexus there and then I'm going to explain what I'm going to be doing with my uh, three-piece wheels that I'm going to be building um, over the next uh, pretty much the whole year. Just because I don't want to do everything at once and I want to try to save some uh, money and uh, still do other things while focusing on getting the wheels done. So, Also, um, working on an episode right now getting these side skirts wrapped. So these are the FIBA side skirts, so those are going to be wrapped and I'm um, ordering ABS plastic so I can do the uh, side skirt splitters that come out. So um, the wrap was supposed to be here yesterday from uh, the place I got the vinyl from, but it's not. So I guess I'm not doing them this weekend. I guess I'll just have to do them fucking next weekend or throughout the week or something. Just depends on my dude has time to come over and wrap them for me. But uh, I got to get them cleaned up anyways. So I'll have to do that fucking later today also. But clean those, get those ready, go over there and look at that car. Um, it's like a late model, or it's a, it's an early model bumper, but it has like the late model body, like the taillights and everything, so, yeah, no fucking vinyl. So hopefully, um, we can find some good shit on this car. Like I said, it has an LSD and some other shit, so it's gonna take me and my cousin, and then we're gonna go there and look at it, see what it has all on it, so I can get like a list of what I wanna get, so. Who the fuck is honking? Anyways, enough rambling, let's go ahead and get the fucking take apart so we can see what this E30 has on it. Hopefully it has a steering column so I can get the fucking steering column on there. That'd be nice because I have turn signals and shit again. Well, we were going to go look at the E30 because you can see this entire fucking place is a goddamn, I don't even know, like a fucking flooded bitch. No, God, please, no, no! Because it's been raining for like two days and it's right in the middle of the fucking lake. What kind of bullshit is this? Look, that's like that's probably like six to ten inches of water, especially when it go back here. I ain't bring no fucking rain boots. Fucking whores. See, all that shit used to be back there in that corner before they fucking moved everything over here. But now it's not even like vehicle specific. They're just fucking throwing shit everywhere. So guys, as you can see from the last clip, even though it's kind of windy in the clip, um, the stupid fucking E30 was pretty much in the back of the yard where it's literally submerged in water. And it looks like some people's already been taking shit off there anyways, like um, I see they took the bumpers off. I don't know why they fucking want those, but uh, the bumpers were off. Um, one side of the headlights, as you can see, was gone. And I think I might've saw like an axle in the back, so they might've took the LSD already. So if they did that, fuck them in their ass. But uh, the car is in storage, of course. I got her all wrapped up like a fucking blanket. But, um, got the car cover in here and this fucking other shit. And there's fucking cushions over here on top of it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take the fucking, um, the shit off here, get the car unwrapped. Because, like I said, next week's supposed to be nice, so I might get the car out, depending uh, on my work schedule or whatever. But, uh, I'm just gonna go get all this shit off here. And then, uh, I'm gonna fucking air the system up and then air the car out. Um,. Because I was going to take off the wheels originally just to get the measurements for the wheels that I'm going to be talking about in this video uh, that I'm going to build. But um, I think I'm just going to air the car out and then um, use that uh, will they fit calculator or whatever that's online. And then I got my tape measure so um, do some rough, or rough uh, measurements to see what I can get away with. Because I do want to do a pretty uh, aggressive setup with the wheels um, on this one. Uh, it's my first set of wheels I'm going to be building. Um, these are pretty much my dream wheels. I've been wanting to build them for probably about two or three years now. Um, I just haven't I've been having a really hard time trying to find uh, the lips I want to use because I don't want to. Typically, when people make these wheels, because um, 
they're getting converted from um, a mono block wheel and then make into a three piece. So typically when people do those, um, they are uh, 17s and they use like Oz lips or BBS lips or whatever. And they're uh, 17s and I don't want to run a 17 on the car just because I prefer to have 16. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is, I already got the lips figured out, uh, just got to get the barrels figured out. Um, and the front, I'm going to go with a, let's switch it around. Um, if you guys are watching my videos, like I said, this is my uh, 89 uh, 325i sedan. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and air the car out real quick and get the car started up and everything because it hasn't been started up in like a fucking month. So I got to put the battery in here and then I get the battery all hooked up and everything. And um, I should be able to fire the car up and then let her run for about 10 minutes and then uh, air the car out. All right guys, so I gotta put this fucking board back here because otherwise I'll be slinging fucking exhaust shit everywhere because condensation and whatever the fuck, so. Anyways, um, this is what the car has on it currently. It just has some uh, uh, replica wheels, some ESM uh, 007s and the gold chrome. Um, I got the back aired out as far as it can go. I don't think I can go any lower because it hits the fucking tire. But, um, I got the back as low as I can go. The front, I can't go any lower because it's sitting on the oil pan or the um, skid plate. But uh, currently, uh, with the specs I have now, um, I have 16 by uh, 8 with a 20 offset, and then I have a 25 millimeter spacer on it, which is a fucking inch. So it puts it at negative 5. So I mean, it's still in from the fender a little bit, the tire is, because the tires don't have too much stretch because they're the fucking Yokohamas. But, uh, can't really get my finger between the tire and the, uh, the fender at all, so it's about as tight as it is on, fit, or on fitment for the front end. And then the rear end is weird because, for some reason, I'm not sure why, but uh, this side sticks out farther than that side. Um, I have new subframe bushings and new trailing arm bushings, so I'm not sure what the deal is. I'm not sure if I have a bent trailing arm or something, but as you can see on this side, I could put my finger like right here as for my roll stops because my fenders are rolled. And this is about where it stops right here. So I really can't do nothing there. Um, this side's been rolled also, but I got fucking the whole finger length in this spot. So I guess that side is the side that sticks out more because that's where I had the problems rubbing when I was static. So I'm not sure about that. Before I get these wheels built, because I plan on taking a while to build them, uh, I'm going to do a a fully adjustable um, subframe from Garagistic. And then um, I might add some, uh, if I can pair those with the Condor uh, Speed Shop um, camber um, trailing arm bushings that have the adjustments on them, I might be able to maybe double up on the uh, adjustment for the camber to give me more negative camber. But uh, currently what I'm thinking about doing, um, I mean what I'm planning on going for, because that's what I want to run, um, I don't want to pull the fenders or anything on the car. I want to keep the fenders how they are. Maybe try to roll them a little bit better or, you know, whatever. But basically, in the rear, I want to run a um, 10 and a half, which is kind of wide for a fucking early or a late model body style. But I'm going to get that fucking 10 and a half to fit. But I'm going to do a 10 and a half in the rear. And then I'm planning on doing a 9 and a half in the rear or in the front. But I also have to be careful on the front end because I have the, the big brake kit for the RX-7 brakes. So I kind of got to be careful with that. Even though it's getting new fenders and shit before it gets wrapped, the car will be wrapped and everything before I even get the wheels done. But um, right now I'm just pretty much taking measurements and shit at the current moment so I can figure out kind of what offsets I can go for. Because it's not like building a regular set of wheels. Like if you go to CCW, you can get you know, whatever specs, and then they make the wheels and build them to that. With these wheels, since they're gonna be custom wheels, you can pretty much pick the barrel and the lip size, but uh, it's kind of goofy on the offset because you gotta think about the offset of the face, and I'm just learning a lot about all this three-piece wheel shit, so. At the current moment, um, I think I decided on a three and a half inch lip, the six inch barrel, 
and then the face for the nine and a half in the front. So I'm gonna have to figure out the um, the rough numbers if I can for the offset for the front because it has to be somewhere around you know about five to seven um, to be able to set fender to lip with a, a decent amount of stretch on the tire. And then the rear. Um, Right now I don't have the spacers on um, because the wheels stick out too far because my tires don't have super amount of stretch on them but um, right now it is a 16 by 9 Let's see if I can get in here it's a 16 by 9 with a uh, 15 offset so I got my tape measure like I said I'm gonna do all these calculations and try to figure out what I can do even though I'm not aired out all the way to where I'm gonna be like fender to lip or anything so but for the rear I plan on doing a um, I was originally gonna do a four and a half inch lip with a, what is it, a five and a half inch barrel or whatever. But um, talking to people that have the same wheels, except in a 17 version that uh, also did those, uh, the nine and a half, ten and a half specs, they all ran four inch lips. So I might do a three and a half inch lip and then a four inch lip in the rear. And then I'll do, a, um, what is it, a four inch lip, six inch barrel, half inch for the face. I think I said the front wrong. I think uh, the front's gonna be a five and a half inch barrel. Five and a half inch barrel, three and a half inch slip, half inch for the face. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm thinking about spec wise. The rear has to be somewhere between like five to 10 offset to be able to sit how I want to sit. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna put in those numbers in the little calculator thing and see what it puts me with the tape measure. The front I'm not really too worried about. I just have to worry about making sure I'm probably gonna have to use a spacer because the way the face is gonna mount on the hub itself um, being the caliper sticks out so far past um, like the original one unless I took the big brake kit off which I don't want to do so I'm probably gonna have to measure it in so I can have to have some kind of spacer so I have to have fucking the wheel built and then I have to make sure I have maybe like a 10 millimeter spacer at the most or at the least I'm thinking about buying a donor set of wheels or just one of the wheels just so I can put it on the hub itself and then um, see how far it sticks out from the uh, the hub when it starts hitting the caliper so I can figure out if I have to run a spacer before the wheels even get built so I can make sure I have all that shit figured out. This is super confusing. I'm trying to get everybody's opinion on shit and asking people different fucking setups. Most people do like 9 and 10s on these but I've always wanted to do a 9.5 and, and a 10.5 and set so that's what I'm shooting for. Um, in the rear, if I have to, I will do a 10, but I really want a 10 and a half. And uh, the front, um, being a nine and a half, I think it'd look really good uh, with the balance I'm gonna get, cause it's gonna stick out a little bit. So I might have to do something in the front to get a little bit more camber. I don't wanna do anything crazy like E46 control arms because I think it just looks stupid with that much amount of camber. Like some people like it, but I don't really care for that much amount of camber. So um, I guess we'll have to figure that out down the line, but just want to kind of discuss the three-piece wheels I want to plan on doing. Um, I'm not going to reveal what wheel it is, except for the people that I already talked to about them. Uh, but like I said, they're going to be a monoblock wheel, then I got to get the, the faces cut off of the wheel and machined to fit the lips and everything. So I already got the lips figured out. Um, hopefully the same guy who has the lips, or can get the lips, he can also have the company or whatever get the barrels to use, because uh, the parts that I'm using are considered like a, a rare compared to like, um, I don't know, regular lips or whatever. So basically I just want to set fender to lip on both front and rear and I want it to look natural. I don't really like tucked fitment. I like it fender to lip because it all kind of flows together to me. Like when you have tucked, it kind of just looks like you have broken suspension. When you're fender to lip, it kind of just makes like the body and the wheels all like flow together like really nicely. So that's what I really like about it. Um, so kind of at a loss here trying to do uh, the rear, but the front, I would say between like, um, like I said, about five to seven offset overall, like the final offset would be ideal for sitting fender to lip up front. After I take the skid plate off, uh, raise the motor up, I should be able to sit fender to lip, you know, kind of like uh, most of the people do on 17s, but uh, on 16s. So uh, the rear is kind of, it's kind of weird to do for one. Um, obviously you still see I got about an inch to drop and I can't go any lower because the tire is on the uh, upper fender or whatever. So the only way I can honestly really get what I want from here, I'd have to take off the fucking tire or get another dummy uh, 16 by nine wheel and try to imitate, um, or just any 16 by nine wheel and put it on here and then uh, plug in the numbers in the calculator and then measure again. 
because I have a whole inch. So of course, when you go lower, it cambers in more. So I can't get a super good um, measurement. Plus, I said, uh, like I said before, uh, this tire sticks out a lot farther. So not a lot farther, but it's a decent amount. It's probably like a good five to seven millimeters, maybe. Um, I think I'm even lower on this side than I am on the other side because I can, um, I don't know, it doesn't hit anything up here or something, but. So I'm kind of at a loss right now for trying to figure out the fitment for the rears because I don't know if I should go off of that number or go off of that number because I don't know which is, you know, stock or whatever and one and which one isn't fucking out of whack or how to even figure out what's out of whack, the other one. But for the front, I'm pretty, I'm pretty solid on a... Um, like a five or a seven offset for this or for the nine and a half. And I should be good for clearance for hitting the bag or anything. I shouldn't hit any of that. Should be all good on that. Uh, the rear will be kind of a, it'll be kind of close with um, the measuring for the uh, the rear barrel. But uh, I have to do a six inch barrel and like I said, the four inch lip. So I'll just have to figure out the fitment um, at a later date for the rear. But uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty set on barrel sizes and lip sizes, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. But uh, I think I'm just gonna, I might end the video here, or I might just go back and see what they have with that car. And if they have anything on the car, I'll insert the clips of what I got from the car itself, and then show you guys around it when it's not fucking covered in water. Just wanted to give you guys overall idea of what I want to do with the wheels and uh, just general plans in this vlog. Since I don't have too much content, but it's getting towards springtime, so you know, we'll be back on that content shit. Uh, depending on work schedule and shit, you know how it goes. Especially in construction, gotta work seven days a week. But, um, side skirt episode is coming up really soon. That's gonna be coming up probably in like a week and a half, because I have to probably get them wrapped next weekend since the wrap didn't come this weekend. And uh, I'm gonna order the ABS tonight, so the ABS gets here, and I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, Already got my templates back here for cardboard. Already got templates made, so I'll show you guys all that shit in the episode with the side skirts and then get those mounted on. Just so they're not sitting around like the uh, BBS side skirts back there in that box. So, uh, anyways, I'm gonna sit in the car a little bit, listen to some music, play some drums, and then I might just end the video here, I'm not sure. But if you guys see other clips uh, after this, then uh, it is what it is.